Hello and welcome to another episode of Tag with PJ Till 2005, PJ Till Season. I can't speak today, that's the second time I tried that intro and still mucked it up, but it's fine. I'll roll with it. Emerald Dragon is up next, so hope that my golfing skills here today are better than my English. Welcome to Emerald Dragon, a course that presents as much of a challenge as you're in the market for. Hello everyone, I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. David Ferdy is ready to call the action from the course and it looks like the players are ready at the first tee. Welcome to round three of this PGA Tour event at Emerald Dragon. All right, Emerald Dragon, another tough course. I think this is meant to be harder, harder than the Greek Isles, but I think this is easier for me than the Greek Isles, personally. Now that I said that, watch me absolutely blast it into the water or something. Look far down the fairway. That's where this is heading. With all the water. A bit of a risk with the water. With the water and the wind, but we have the power. If you want to get there in two, you have to do that. Uh, ooh. I need the elevation to clear the bunker. I think a normal three iron shot will, will play too low. That could be just my 06 brain talking here. A little bit power out and gamble Should that the, uh, the wind will this. stop this. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's a good shot, actually. Very that's a good shot. Done. That's a good shot. Set up nicely for an eagle attempt on this bar. We've got to like a flat pit bit of the green there with, with with that roll, so we've actually got an easy an easy put. As long as the Kelly wasn't lying, Jesus Christ! I thought that was out. So one inch to the right, one inch short, I did that, nearly missed. Kelly trying to draw me there. It's in the hole anyway, it's fine. The second hole offers a stunning vista of Mount Right, this is the this is the par four, isn't it? But it should be a par five. And this this is the one as well where you wanna aim over here if you can, but the wind's against it, so we ain't we ain't, we ain't got a chance. If the wind is forward you, you go over there. You can you, you can get over there with the correct wind, but we can't hear today, so just gotta blast it down this part of the fairway as best we can. Take it easy on the power boost so we don't miss it. This could be one of the longest balls I've ever seen. Nice, nice ball. 150 yards. Don't underestimate the importance of improving your accuracy any chance you get. Yeah, as you can see, the elevation is a killer. It's a real killer. This is not looking good. Yeah, not that we could do. It's unreachable. Tough break. It really is actually just straight up unreachable, I think. Without the wearing. No need for a shovel here, McCord. This isn't buried at all. I think a normal shot plays too low and gets us in the bunker anyway. Uh, I'm not playing with people. That's like a one iron, effectively. I press the wrong button for the spin. I press the L1 because that's. Oh. I went GameCube Miss mode. This and you're looking at a bunker. Well, we are tagging vision in this because I'm not getting a bogey. Even though this is, this is effectively a par five. This could be close. There we go. It's a safe part. The best we could do there, it was unreachable with that wind. You need forward wind for that. I'll take the part. We've got a niggle on the first hole, which is quite hard to achieve, to this be fair. So. Little par three is a real oh, this hole, this hole. I hate this hole as well. Six par now, front right, okay. Go straight for the hole. Find water here. Oh, no, for the first time! I hate to oh. say you're wrong about this, David. He said I was in the water for the first time in this series. I found water, but nope, we just avoided it. this distance, anything can happen. I'm surprised it didn't carry. I put power boost plus the win. It should have really carried that, but apparently it didn't. It has put us on the green, so some shit can see. We kind of cheated. It's fine. Because because I've kind of looked out here and been put on the green, I'm not going to target vision this. So don't need it. I thought Tiger Vision in that is a bit is a bit harsh when I've been giving them a big a big favour there. So I I play it legit. And we get the birdie. The fourth hole is a dog. The safe play on that one is to play to the right, but I, I went aggressive. Thankfully I didn't get punished for it. Right. Absolutely blast it. That was masculine. Need a bit of a right spin there just to make sure that tree's not in the way. Yeah, that's fine. We've got a clear shot at the hole. This will be a pretty standard second shot here. Oh, 
A bit of power was to counter the wind. Oh, get out the putter. This might make the green. There we go. Ah, uh, no, stop, stop. Stay on the... Oh. After all these years, I thought you could tell the difference, David. Gave me a second to make that's in the fairway. That's like three greens and regulations I bloody missed. Well, I just whack it up the hill and see what happens. Apparently. Oh, I've hit it too hard. I'm being trolled. What? That's not a tapping. Three under on the you made me put that. That's a tapping. Oh, again, trying to troll me here. Inconsistent at the Emerald Dragon. Let's be fair, one of those parts should have been a birdie, quite frankly. That's a par five. Oh, I'm being trolled today. The fifth hole up. Right, let's, just, let's just move on and get this over with. Right, I'm going to aim for the, this part of the fairway. That's pushing it because the bunker's in the way, but this one we can get to. Right where it's supposed to be. There you go. Down the middle. Gotta get this one up in the air. We just want to get on the green here to say that's green in regulation. I've absolutely been poor today with that. Should be happy with this. Well, we're on the green, but. That we're the played sharks at elevation. This is where you want to be, below the hole. So don't forget to hit it hard enough to get it up there. Uh, do I want a tiger vision? This. Yeah, my approach play today is not great. Uh, I'm gonna check it out on tiger vision. That, that's about right. I was actually about right. <laughs> oh! I hate this game. I hate this game. I absolutely hate this game. What a waste of a target vision. Keep your tee shot to the. Well, it's not the worst round of golf I've played so far. <laughs> oh well. We'll live, right. It's downhill. This is one of the best drives I've We've seen. We've absolutely smelled it to the round, I'm not sure how. That fell straight on my own stick. I was in control. But end of the day, on the fairway. I don't think we're gonna have to have a go with this one. Eh uh -uh. No, screw it. We're going for it. That's not the straightest shot. No, I didn't clear the, the rough. You'll have to make a good shot from here. I should have done max power boost to be honest. The punishment was being here which isn't a great deal, to be honest, so that's why I went for it. I'm like, I might not even, probably won't get there, but if we do, we're going to absolutely sky the shot. My God. Looking at a that's something I've got to remember, is, is when I'm on a hill like that, it will go further because it gets higher in the air. This but at least a straight put, so we get a bird, thankfully. Yeah, we'll start here. And we'll drag and prove it. Proving to bat me in the ass. Yeah, I'm like, good cars is harder. And more dragons being like, you better respect me, bro. The par five seventh hole is. But for, for now, I'm not doing too bad. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Right. True par five here. We can't get there. Because you have to get over here. And you need a very strong wind to, to even have a chance. you got to think the second shot is always uphill. So. Let's get it on the fairway. Absolutely Second shot, you want to get it pretty close to the green, so you've got an easy approach shot. So you can use a wedge. And that'll help with the elevation. Alright. Once this one there we go. Get on the flat bit of the green. We'll get close to the hole. This will be a simple second shot here. High wedge. Well, this ball's got the radar turned on. Right by the hole, that's a good shot. That's basically as well as you can play this ultimate, just other than chipping it in from there. It was doable if you got it right, but. You play that hole very well. Starting to stabilize, and I'll get back to our usual ability.
The par four eighth hole. It's not the greatest the so far, Emerald Dragon, shot, but the elevated tees down to an open. It could be a lot worse. So. Right, I'm gonna aim. It. The wind's against it, but it is really downhill, so a bit of power boost could easily overhit this. So I'm gonna aim over here because the, the far end of the fairway is it's, it's the widest part of the fairway, basically. He smashed that one. I've hit that right again. How? It was not a trail, was it? I don't know what's going on. I might have to just recalibrate. What do you think? Control, to be honest with you. It's about 240 yards from here. Is this a par four or a par five? It's a par four. That's bollocks. It's a par five. This. It's not the worst shot I've ever seen. Well, I went for it. Nice or we can put that. The best we could do there is another par five. All this. But we are in putting range, we've got Tiger Vision, so we're going to use it. Down to one, we're not even through nine yet. About there. Nothing wrong with this. There we go. Yeah, that's 565 yards. How is that a par four? <laughs> Come on, game. This is where the AI can really take you to town, though, because they'll, they won't be affected by stuff like that. They'll still get around the 60 mark. The ninth they always is a get. stunning display of natural beauty. Uh, okay, right. We'll play a three iron, even though it is downhill. This one's headed straight for the flag. There we go. Should be a makeable If you play that short, time. you're screwed. You ain't putting that because of that massive slope on the green. But if you play it a bit long, it's flatter, so it's easier. Please, do your best not to blow this very makeable putt. Sometimes you've got to look at the green and, and be like, if you're going to miss, where do you want to miss? So that will actually bail out. I'm missing that a bit longer. Being on the edge of the green is not a problem. Being short and having an awkward putt, you're screwed. The tenth hole is a par four comprised of gently rolling mounds. Place your teeth. Right. Gonna aim over here. The wind's gonna blow it a little to the right. Got all this one. Maybe too much. Here's some less bit on that to count the roll. Yeah, we go. Set up a simple second shot. It's gonna go a little right, I think, because of the, of the fairway. This is gonna be very, very close. That'll do. Oh, can you believe it? Close approach, three feet. Should be a tap in this. Yeah, a little bit of extra power. Tap it in. Forty-one. Let me move on. Got like one more long par four to go. Try and get a birdie the there if we can. Is a challenging dog leg right, Eric. Right, can we clear that bunker? We can. I'm gonna play a high shot just to make sure we get the elevation on it. But even if I hit this to the right, that's where I want it to go anyway. You just made a statement with that swing. Question is, can we actually? Do we have a chance of getting there? We do. We we are. Yeah, we we do. But we tend to hit the tree, don't we? We have to like proper go for it. I'm gonna go for it. That's the driver. Over the tree. That's a good shot. Getting that very close. One there is hard because the tree is right in, right right in front of the hole. So to get the right arc to get it close, you, you, you tend to hit the tree. Position here to drop this one for eagle on the and the green's pretty flat, so if you get it, get it on there, as you can see, it's a straight and put. There we go. Here we go, this is more like it. Let's see how this par 4 goes. It's very long. An ancient castle is the backdrop for this par 4. The twelfth is a dog leg right around the landmark to a green that is well bunkered in front. It's and pretty flat though, it's not apart from the T, it's not exactly massively uphill of anything, so we might be alright here. Oh, this shot was crushed, gonna blow it. heading to the, the right. gonna blow it to the right. He has a lot of push to the in hole. The, the question is, right is the tree in the way? Yards away. No, we can clear it, we can clear it. We can clear it. We can get that. This one's up and it's headed for the right side of the green. Get as much spin and roll as possible towards the hole. That's a good shot. 
given the distance, you can't do that much better this than that. This would be think. seven straight birdies if it goes in. Right, whack it up the hill. Into the hole. What's that, that? That's another one that could really be a par five, so a birdie there is very good. A cluster of trees comes into play. I think that's most of the long holes out of the way now. This one you have two choices. Really go for it and try and get like a you know a pitch range or you just play it short. Make sure you got no obstacles in the way for the second shot. And that's what we're gonna do here. Just play it to I get it on the fairway. Like the way this one looks. I can be dying second shot. Keep it simple. Should be in the two hundred yard range from here. Uh huh. Uh, I'd have to agree with that assessment. Play a three iron height. Looking good. Headed for the green. Avoid the bird. Put a forward roll. That's a good shot. Close approach. This would be an amazing eight straight birdie. We played it smart. We have a with the birdie. Here we go. Under par for four holes straight. Or for nine holes. Well, there were eight holes straight now. Mount Fuji comes Although back we do have the dreaded dragon par three, three here. This one's very hard just because the green is very undulated. This one's heading for the back of the green. Going straight for the hole. There they are though. A bit long because of the wind, but that's fine. This for a ninth consecutive. Pretty flat green actually, it's just up the hill. There we go. 13 under par on. One par five coming up here, let's go. The fifteenth hole is a very lengthy par five play. Yeah, this is a true par five. You, you can't really get there. Let's we'll hit it with the driver, get it get it in the fairway. Ooh, now that swing was gorgeous. Try to remember what you did there. Give him twenty one yards. Right. The main thing is you don't want that tree in the way. So we're gonna just absolutely blast it as best we can, just get it into pitching range. Look like this will make the green. Not gonna quite make it, but we are in pitching rain, so we can get this one close. At least give us a chance to just chip this in if we're lucky. Soft pitching wedge. This is looking very good indeed. There it is. We give ourselves that chance and we convert to chip an eagle. Tough pitch there because of the distance. Right, yeah, we hit it very softly there. We get it in the hole. I'll take that. That makes up some, for some of the poor, poor shots from the first, from the front nine. Players trying to make upstrokes will be gunning for a birdie here. Keep your tee shot down the fairway and All play. Right, my thing here is get it in the fairway. Because we can get this one close. It's a pill to play a little shorter. I'm to the left because of the wind. Can't clear the bunker, so just get it on the flat bit of fairway. Can't play, play, play this one a bit. A three, a three would, would, would have been better, I think. Right. I'm gonna play a soft little bridge. Fantastic oh! swing! It's right at the flag. I thought it was gonna bounce straight in. That was like almost bang on. Oh, that could have gone straight in. If that just went straight in the hole. That would have been absolutely mad. Oh, well, we're dialed in now. The seventeenth is a short par three to test your. Come and get the holy one. It's been a while, at least in season mode. We'll be aggressive. This is going right, but it should be on the green. Oh, oh no, too far. No. Wasn't miles away, but I got the spin a bit this wrong there. This would make it twelve straight birdies. It's an easy birdie, we'll take it. This difficult double dog leg has a pin that Here can... Here we go. The last hole. The last couple of holes on, on this course aren't too bad. Right, 
I'll take a little bit of power out of it. Bit of backspin to stop it dead. On target That'll today, do it. Hitting every fairway. Uh, we've got a I think we've got a Tiger Vision left, to be fair. We didn't use one on the, on the back nine. This is going right at it. Ah, uh, a bit, bit, early, bit like early with the backspin, that's, 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 that's a real chance. For a 13th straight bird. Yeah, the green's kind of calmed down a bit on the back nine. Make things a lot easier. We beat the AI by, well, the best that I have was Woods for 60, so we beat the, the AI by five shots, so. Despite a rough round at, at parts, we have some very good shots on the back nine. Maybe the AI. Quite easily. And next up, will be the Greek Isles. Oh, for goodness sake. Why did you pick the worst one? Oh. oh well, for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for some Let's Play Tag Lose PT Tour 2005, the PGA Tour season.